Uh, thank you, Presiding Officer. I am delighted to speak in this debate, reflecting on the many vital actions that are being taken by the Scottish Government to reduce the cost of the school day for uh, children from low-income families. And I do welcome the Scottish Government's recognition that this state of affairs is totally unacceptable. Uh, the motion does demonstrate its commitment to ensuring that children can participate fully in all aspects of school life without additional financial costs. Education should, of course, be free for all children. As a teacher of 30 years' experience in the classroom, I have seen the impact on the left-out child of not being able to go to the Christmas fair and being left in the classroom because they do not have a ticket, not having the 30 pence to adopt the soft toy, the, thoughtless, uh, the thoughtfulness of teachers giving their own money to children to enable them to buy the popcorn or guess how many sweets there are in a jar. In fact, teachers, in collaboration with parent councils, have long been aware of the need to ensure that no child is excluded. And I'm sure we all remember participating in sponsored walks and asking friends and family to contribute. Perhaps some of us would have uh, provided more benefit by taking part in sponsored silences. Not wanting to come across as a total mistrunchable, I do accept uh, and believe that these activities are a vital component of the school day and calendar. They contribute to the school and wider community in so many fun ways. And of course, all children should participate fully, but without experiencing the stigma of not having the financial resource. The Child Poverty Action Group's Cost of the School Day campaign focuses on raising awareness of disproportionate and hidden costs from dress-down days to dress-up days, charity support days and other fundraising events. It also highlights the cost of basic necessities such as stationery, uniform, food and transport. It provides a wealth of creative ways to school to, uh, for a school to identify and tackle these costs, and I myself participated in the pilot training programme in Glasgow, and not only did it challenge my own assumptions, but also led to the school a uh, wide re-evaluation of the school calendar events in order to cut out any additional expenses placed on children and families. The Scottish Government has quite rightly committed substantial funds to address the cost of the school day, including uniform, meals, transport. The school uniform grant currently stands at £120 per eligible uh, primary child and an £150 per eligible secondary young person. Uh, 11.8 million of additional funding has been provided to local authorities to enable this. All children from P1 to P5 and eligible children in P6 and 7 have been in receipt of free school lunches since January. And I welcome that provision will be extended to all children in primary and special schools during the course of this Parliament. It should be noted the policy of providing universal free school meals saves all families an average of £400 per child per year. Child poverty levels in Scotland are six percentage points below the UK average, standing at 24 per cent, compared to 30 per cent in England, 31 per cent in Wales, and of course matching Northern Ireland at the 24 per cent. Child poverty in Scotland is projected to fall to its lowest level in nearly 30 years as a result of the actions taken by the Scottish Government to date and commitments in the second Tackling Child Poverty Delivery Plan. Other, uh, I'll just crack, I'm nearly done. <laughs> Other examples of game-changing Scottish Government action on child poverty include doubling the child payment to £20, increasing it to £25, extending it to all children in low-income families up to the age of 16 by the end of this year. And the Child Poverty Action Group has reported that uh, the cost of bringing up a child in Scotland will be reduced by 31 per cent, or nearly £24,000 a year, once the child, uh, Scottish child payment is doubled and the expansion of free school meals provision is fully delivered. However, these actions are being taken in the face of UK Tory government, which seems to be determined to increase inequality instead of reducing it. And of course, the Scottish Government is trying to deal with this issue with one hand tied behind its back. 
Inequality is a blight on Scotland, and actually it's a blight on the whole of the UK. The difference here is that in Scotland we have a government that understands this and takes action to address it. I therefore welcome this motion, and even Miss Honey, I think, would defer to the words of Kofi Annan. There is no duty more important than ensuring that their rights are respected, that their welfare is protected, that their lives are free from fear and want, and that they can grow up in peace. Thank you, Presiding Officer.